Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Age of Imperialism mod for Hearts of Iron Forest, playing as, of course, the best nation in the world, but we need to talk about how we're doing. There's a widespread belief in the world that America has been discovered. Uh-uh. America has been built. It was built by people dreaming about freedom without monarchs and governments pushing their way at every step. People filled with these ideals had to build a civilization here from scratch, but thanks to diligence, courage, and the ability to face adversity, it was possible to build a country of free people here. As of today, the so-called era of jazz thrives, which is characterized not only by characteristic music, but also by building skyscrapers, hammer strikes, and the sound of a saxophone seem to create a melody in the rhythm of which the U.S. is moving towards a bright future. Although there is no path completely free of obstacles, and in the case of the USA, these obstacles may be greater than the U.S. society would like them to be, namely, Americans want to overcome soon the fact that the condition of the army, compared to the other armed forces in the world, has definitely not uh, been uh, getting better, while horrible truth or that the Monroe Doctrine, which has been or years. A shield against European imperialism is slowly falling apart, due first to the Great Britain's dominating the global markets, which extended their influence on Americas, and then through the Civil War in Mexico that became an arena of international diplomatic struggles. What will remain of U.S. control over the Americas is the issue of the coming months. The need for action by the U.S. will become clear, but years of neutrality and a sense of security among the Americans left their mark on the nation's identity. Whoever will rule the U.S. in the years to come will face the need to reverse societies to tendencies and make America a superpower that is both economically and militarily capable of enforcing its raison, raison d'entre of the international stage. In God we trust. How do I pronounce that? Oh boy. In God we trust. And we're doing the American playground. The League of Nations, which was enabled under the presidency of Woodrow Wilson, was intended to unite the nations of the world in common goals and for the common well-being, but these noble goals were not achieved and the faction has eventually, essentially become our private backyard. Time to renovate. A dynamic change in contract conditions. When the Mexican Civil War broke out, rebels wanted to overthrow Cal Calles's also proposed to nationalize Mexico's oil fields, and thus forced to support the Mexican government in the name of defending her interests. Despite numerous mediation attempts, the civil war could not be ended by peaceful methods, and due to the interference of Russia and Italy in this conflict on the other side, we were forced to support the dictatorial rule of Plutar Plutarco Elias Calles. The whole situation is not helped by the growing greed of the Mexican government, which in exchange for suppressing the Cristeros uprising has been again asking us for more support. Grit is the cause of our world domination. Not bad. We lose some stability, but hey, that's okay. Um, I actually didn't take a look at this tree at all. Is this all we have? Oh, no, we have... Oh, seasons of problems. Oh, non-radical politics, economic decisions. Oh, let's see. Another four years of Hoover. Roosevelt's New Deal. Oh. Oh, well, hello. Um, Allied duty free zone. 400 PP. Wow. Global Research Initiative. International Armed Forces Maneuvers. On our own properties. The foundings of the Pentagon. Our pre precious allies. Oh, we stuff over here too. And the War Plan Blue, which is about, about military stuff. So, oh, yeah, there's Focus Street. I think what we'll do next, because it's already 1931. Let's do send season to problems. When Hubert Hoover was elected president in 1928, he promised to become the president of the deed capable of making decisions to bring the situation under control. The past three years have undoubtedly been full of activities um, aimed at preparing the ground for the right actions, but for the moment, Hoover, in, uh, in the eyes of the citizens, remained the president of big words and, of course, nothing else. Oh. Actually, let's combine them all. I didn't realize I had some destroyers here, too. Uh, there you go. Well, I'll train you guys to be a little bit better, but whatever. Um, there you go. Bing bong. There you go. And now train as well, so we have no fuel. How do we not have enough fuel? Daily gain is only 3,600. That's really bad. And you guys just pretty much train as well. I mean, we'll throw some capture ships on them as well. Uh, World Exhibition begins. Cool, cool, cool. America Playground, Haas, Base, Earthquake. Well, that sucks, bro. And uh, we'll go over these. So, what is this? N Land of Freedom? Or Yeah, that looks really good. Really awesome, actually. Dracula Premieres. That's actually really strong, yeah. Um, Age of Jazz. That's extremely good. Holy crap. That's impressive. Holy smokes. Stability, the consumer goods, daily political power. Holy cow, we have the decline of the Monroe Doctrine, which is not bad. That's very good for us as well, pretty much. The sinister influence of Prohibition. Ooh, that's not good. The Star Spangled Banner, though. A dramatic situation for agriculture, eh, which is pretty bad. And then the Great Drought. And what else we have? Racism. Ooh, I, I love racism. Um, uh, the wave of crime, and then dirty business. Ooh, the Star Spangled Banner. Today, President Hoover officially signed a bill in which a song, the Star Spangled Banner, is officially recognized as the anthem of the U.S. This event is the result of years of efforts by veterans associations and spontaneous patriotic organizations, which collected over five million signatures as part of the petition. And God we trust. It took him a bit. Commission for Agriculture. Ooh, it hurts the consumer goods, though. Ooh, that's not good. I don't like that. Beginning of the end. Let's do this one instead. Prohibition is perhaps the best example of how good intentions paved the way to heck. Unfortunately, undoubtedly, much of the support for the President Hoover came from his staunch opponent of Prohibition in 1928. Nice. Construction 1. Cool. Uh, let's grab some more of that. And ship-wise, we are not looking great. 
or Nullock and Terrible. So, Land Doctrine, probably go with the Delay Doctrine for now, which is fine, fine, fine. We do have quite a bit of PP here. Uh, we are considered Republican Liberals right now. I don't really want to touch this too much yet. I'd rather maybe do some stuff down here. Steel Company, build faster. Yeah, yeah, Steel Company, there we go. Um, March on Washington. Yeah, oh, but we get more stability to this one. So I'll call it depenalization. While Congress, the Senate, and the Supreme Court are puzzled over the abolition of prohibition, it's not possible to decriminalize the consumption scale of alcohol. This should open the doors to future changes. Uh, French Prime Minister and assassinate, all right. Uh, anything else here we really care about? National visit, Panama, and I think Liberia. Yeah, it's, there are puppets. So overall, not too bad. We're trying to build a bunch of civvies here. Just a bunch of civvies. Nicaragua, earthquake. Oh, sucks to be them. Build in the Dakotas, why not? Spain is dying. What else is new? And, oh, I haven't even said the generals. That sucks. Spanish Civil War. Wow, that was really fast. Uh, field Marshals. Eisenhower. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, he's, got, he's really going to attack. Uh, horse Daddy. Who's the Horse Daddy? Lucian Truscott? Sure, why not? Special Forces now. Patton is a dude. He's an unpopular government, but god dang, plus... He's got eight attack. Jesus, slap me silly. Uh, he's an invader. That's probably pretty good. Jacob Devers. Um, amphibious. We can probably wait for that stuff too. Infantry. Who's a good infantry dude? Patch Leonard Garo. Oh crap. That's not good. Um, well, there you go. And then for tanks, you gotta go with my big boy Patton. I would love, love, love Patton. Anything else here we really care about? No. Anything here we care about? Les Affaires? That pretty, sounds pretty American to me. The President of France? Dust Bowl. According to the reports from the southern states, including Oklahoma in particular, the drought has caused million, lots of difficulties for our farmers in recent years, which has led to the emergency or emergence of sandstorms. According to the reports of prepared by ecologists, the phenomenon that has started to affect our agricultural south is a symptom of the ecological disaster which occurred as a result of reckless agricultural policy in which our farmers would allow the transformation of cultivated lands into unfertile and desert lands. This event, this event will certainly have an impact on the ongoing agricultural crisis. On the scale of the disaster may prevent us from preventing it quickly. What have we done? Oh, crap. Well, that sucks, bro. Um, encryption would be so nice. Infrastructure speed. I mean, honestly, this stuff doesn't really matter. Not fuel gain. We're struggling with fuel right now, which is very surprising. So, um, we might go that way. I don't want to go that way just yet. Reactionism? We can do that one for a little bit. Just give more consumer goods. Um, education minister. That's not bad. That's actually pretty good. We are liberals, so. Or just do something here. Naval bombers. That's not bad. Agility is always good to get. Boeing, Coast Air Support. Destroyers, subs. Ooh. You get more deck size. 20% is no, nothing to love at. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, we'll, get, we'll grab you then. Holy crap. And March on Washington. Uh, masses of opponents of prohibition have created countless organizations to convince the American government, center, Supreme Court, of the necessity of lifting prohibition. It would be fitting for all these organizations to facilitate access to Washington, so they could exert pressure much more effectively. And we'll get more stability, too, in the end of this, so. And more political power. So, can we actually intervene? Oh, my goodness. Oh, we should have intervened. Intervened? Intervened a little bit earlier. Um, three divisions, huh? I'm going to send the Mountaineers. How good are you guys? You are... Never mind. You guys are at least 16 combo with cell. Uh, yeah, you guys are dying. Uh, here you go. How many planes can we send you? 60. That's not great. Cool. Yeah, that's not going to do anything for us. Empire State Building, magnificent. Very nice. Do the best you can, guys. Do the absolute best you can. You're not getting anybody. Okay. Um, dispersed industry is not bad. What else are we going to do here? Engineering, better some. Well, it's a little bit ahead of time, actually. I'd rather get the better artillery for now. Oh, you guys helping them out, too. That's good. Creden Stout goes bankrupt. Alright, interesting. Uh, Lucius. We'll wait for that one. I don't know which one we're going to go with next, though. So. And we'll grab you right here. We're going to grab you with our infantry. Yeah, well, Omar Bradley's pretty good in defense. We'll take him and we'll grab uh, Eisenhower because he can. The limit in the Austrian Parliament, which I didn't even play. I don't do never gaming. He's playing, uh, has played 
or has well been played uh, Austria as well. So that sounds like a fun nation. French veto. Kind of figured that one's going to come. Drastic Texas still in Germany. There you go. Death of the Italian King, March on Washington, and a prohibition. In the face of pressure from the voters and the apparent stimulation of the economy after the relaunch of alcohol sales, the defenders of the prohibition found themselves on the clear defensive. Now it's the perfect time to get back to normal. Nice. Black Friday. Oh, crap. The Gay King Italy. Of Italy. Oh. Al Capone convicted. The amazing news is spreading around the U.S. today, and not only about the results of the lawsuit, in which he was found guilty of five out of 22 charges of tax avoidance, the court sentenced him to a total of 11 years imprisonment. He also paid $80,000 in fines and trial costs. The sentencing of such a famous gangster to prison for non-payment of taxes was the result of a lengthy investigation by federal agent Elliot Ness and his group of 11 agents for incorruptibility known as untouchables. Many people consider Al Capone's conviction to be the beginning of the end of the crime wave that hit the U.S. as a result of the introduction of prohibition, but all well, the next few years will show this is true. Commission for Agriculture. The Agriculture Commission will undoubtedly help us work out the solutions aimed at stopping the further development of the agriculture crisis and should enable us to possibly restore the situation to normal. Not bad. Real politique. Equal money equals. Volunteer. Some slight racism, but that uh, makes it fun. Uh, makes it fun. It's actually really good. Um, tanks. Heavy equipment. I like the soft stack. Mediums, mediums, mediums. Uh, what's this going to supply? Yeah, I might as well go this way. Let's max it out, baby. If we can. Infantry equipment is not bad. Infantry. Ooh. General Motors. Because the General Motors is the only one with a sign here, we'll go with General Motors for now. Anything else here? Economics? No. We're pretty good. And we'll grab more artillery stuff. Why not? Screw it. End of the pre of Trieste. Well, can't, can't figure that one's going. End of the Habsburg Monarchy. Oh, no. Spain is fine for republicanism. Interesting news comes today from us from Spain, which the incompetent governments of the King Alfonso XIII have been overthrown by the army coup. However, due to internal divisions within the army, the situation in Spain turned into a civil war. Such a state of affairs erases all hopes of Spain becoming a republic in the upcoming referendum, as it won't happen now, thus local republican forces aim at taking over the country by revolutionary means. Such a state of affairs clearly helped them gain big popularity here in the U.S., and many rumors seem to circulate around about creating an international brigade corps in order to help the Spanish Republic. Since our government can't truly forbid our citizens from helping the Republic, the logical conclusion is to help them for the benefit of our state. Monarchism has to fall. Well, I guess we're getting involved in Spain too. If that's the case, um, these tanks are how good or bad. Tank combat with... Uh, uh, that's the best response I can give you right now. How bad are these cavalry divisions? Uh, our, our army just kind of is... Uh, overall... Just an um, infantry, Alexander Piach. Thank you. So what can we send y'all? 163 is not bad. We have no planes, but whatever. Uh, fighters. Yeah, send them over first. It's fine. And patrol bombers gas. Well, 63. Oh, 63, not 73. My bad. My bad. Royal Navy's gone bankrupt. Oh, he maintains control. Very cool. Very cool. Very, very cool. Well, hopefully we're going to hear Mexico. I don't like fighting two fronts at the same time, but whatever. Omar Bradley, how you doing, son? You doing okay? End of prohibition. Very nice. Um, there you go. You guys are showing up too. Nice. I'm looking for areas where we could like encircle them or something, but I think you guys are getting attacked pretty darn harshly already. Um, we got a lot of PP. -pee. Obviously, we don't need it for later, but still. Air manufacturer. Capital ship. Uh, I'll always like more agility. Industrial stuff. You know what? Screw it. Give us this encryption stuff. We can make more stuff like that. Give us more encryption. Chief of military intelligence. I like encryption a whole bunch. Probably too much. Uh, Naval redeemer. I always choose flight and being and stuff like that. Uh. You know, let's go naval reformer, why not? Air stuff, air reformer, daily air XP gain. Well, that's, you get more political pilots one too, that's not bad. Air superiority, ground support. Uh, let's do that one. Naval reorganization, fleet positioning. Hmm. Air experience gain, that's not bad, 3%. Sub attack, we're not going to use for coordination. I'm not sure how good coordination is for that stuff. I don't mind getting more air superiority though, that seems pretty useful. Infantry expert. 
Yeah, I'll probably really be focusing a lot of infantry, so there you go. And Chief of the Army, aggressive assaulter. I love being aggressive. For Douglas, I, we gotta go with him. Even U.S. states are not safe from the panic in 1931. Today, that tragic news spread all over the U.S. at the Wall Street. Oh, look at that. Oh, crap. Oh, uh oh, we lost. Uh, the Wall Street stock market was closed. The culprit is the panic of 1931, which we prefer to call the Great Depression in our country, but just turned the global trade and economic cooperation system into dust. At present, more and more banks and industrial tycoons are announcing their bankruptcies and dismissing their employees. All indications are that the crisis has come to our country for good. Darn those imperialists. Age of Jazz is gone. Oh, crap. That's not good. Well, suck on a lemon and call me sweetie. Well, I don't know about that, but whatever. Uh, yeah, that's not good. We're doing so well. Look at all the stuff we were building, man. All them roads. America could have finally had infrastructure. Quality infrastructure. But it was stripped away from us. It was a Reichspact, huh? My bad, United Mexican States. Um, hopefully kill you off later on. I'd love to kill you off later on. But we'll see what happens. My bad. I made a mistake. Unresting the Isles. It had to happen eventually. Um, do, can we uh, do anything about the, the, uh, no? Okay. Well, I guess we're going, oh, this sucks. Necessary changes in agriculture. While many farmers may not like it, they do need to make a major overhaul of agriculture. The time when the little farmers could actually destroy American soil must end. Followed up with an irrigation system. To date, attempts to create an irrigation system in doubt, drought stricken states have failed to meet their desired expectation and it is imperative that the government make, take matters into its own hands and implement this extensive program. Not bad. Base strike. Our carriers and the support. Well, I guess we could try it. Why not? Well, we lost one place already. Let's not lose this place, right? That's right. With that many divisions, you should be able to win in there. Where the exhibition finally goes bye bye. Refiner refineries. That one keeps popping up for some reason. Um, but these guys, we'll just make. Um, how much artillery do we have? Do we have enough? Eh, we should have enough for that one at least. That should be good enough for now. Now we're out, we're out of artillery, of course. There you go. Kill him off this way and you'll be fine. 0.57 every single day is pretty bad, not gonna lie. There you go. Oh, yeah, crap. The irrigation system, of course. Can we continue trading? Oh, we're doing okay. That's fine. Uh, strengthening agricultural banks. Agricultural banks in the face of the crisis found themselves on the verge of bankruptcy, and thus further development of agriculture may be stopped for many years, which in the face of a uh, crisis we are already experiencing could lead to a catastrophe. Liberals at the helm of power in Japan? No, oh, liberalism in Asia. Go figure. Bunch of libs. Oh, so sorry, Thomas Edmison. So sorry. George Marshall's here, huh? What a fella. What a dude, bro. Eisenhower, um, honestly, go throw a planner. That's fine with us. Salvation American Agriculture. While the effectiveness or activity of the Agriculture Commission remains debatable and controversial to a section of society, the lifting of prohibition has undoubtedly led to a sharp stimulation of American agriculture due to the sudden increase in the demand for agricultural products needed to produce alcohol. It's a win-win situation. Win-win. You, me, and a bunch of alcohol. What could be better than that? There you go, Alexander Patch, do your best. We already lost uh, Mexico, which we might actually regret losing them, but whatever. Um, support equipment's looking pretty good. We can go ahead and probably do this. Yes, um, not that one yet. Uh, engineers. Engineers are always a must. Like, in my opinion, like they're always, always, always a must. Um, since we're here, get some of that too. Hey, look, we're doing pretty okay. Look at that. We're doing pretty darn well. We'll get, get rid of tyranny here. In Spain. Somehow, some way. Election of 32. The four years of Hoover's presidency are coming to an end. Americans, again, as every four years, should go to the polls to be able to decide who should lead the nation, the proud nation, for the next term. Hey, we'll see what happens. Good or bad, we'll see what happens. Crisis in the oil markets? Well, that ain't good. Oh, we're finding the Brits now. Wait, what? How are we find? We want them liberals. I thought. Conservatives win the election. Alright. 
I mean, they want to attack us. I'm fine with that. That's okay with me. All right. Well, let's see what the election does. Let's go Belgrade Treaty. Well, I guess we're coming back over here then. The Allied Duty Free Zone. Our allies near and far, though poorer than we, are still valuable traded partners. There is indeed no better way to establish friendly relations between nations than by creating a duty-free zone between them. Might as well. Follow it up with what? The War Plan Blues. The Blue War Plan deals with the modernization and development of the U.S. military so they can engage in an equal fight with the enemy, regardless of whether he's on water, land, or air. Wait. Did Ireland get its independence yet? No. Okay. We don't believe in Irish independence. Another successful one of ideas. We want to read about that. Please go right ahead. Beautiful. We have some uniforms. Nice. Smoke generators. Nice. Get some recon stuff, even though we can't really use it right now, but whatever. As long as we're learning. That's all that matters, right? What? Right, Eisenhower? Uh, of course they joined the Russian faction. My bad for losing them. I mean, they really want to attack. I mean, Spain technically is losing, but we're doing pretty darn well here, I'll be honest. This is what it seems like. International Armed Forces Maneuvers. Our allies near and far valuable experiences that could undoubtedly be of use to us in creating a new academy for the United States Armed Forces. Or United Armed Forces. Well, we are going super power, super, superior firepower, so. Nice, nice, nice. They are desperately trying to beat us here. Patch falls ill? That sucks, bro. Oh, do we actually push him in? Nice. Well, election 32. I guess we've got to wait for that. Low research initiative. Our allies near and far. Our valuable knowledge that should undoubtedly be of use to us in creating a new program for the exchange of research and scientific information. Absolutely. Followed up with what? Uh, yeah, the war plan blue, which we'll go with next. My bad. I, I thought... For some reason, I didn't read that one again, but whatever. Oh, there you go. Push him over. You should be able to push him over, you know. Infantry leader is pretty good. Basic armor is pretty good, too. Oh, then of Velma's Second's Dreams. Well, goodbye, Velma's Dreams. And hello, naval modernization. You should be able to break over that river. Brave New World. Oh, crap. Well, maybe not. Yeah, that's what I thought after you do that type of stuff. Here, go that way. Bro, you just lost another division. That sucks, man. Oh, hello. Well, I guess we go in here, too. What? Powers of medicine? Why not? Well, you're gonna die if you don't get break out, so... Do the win or die. There literally is no in between. Come on, circle and win, 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 win. There you go. Finally, it took a lot of guys to do that, but we got them. Five divisions go bye bye. Mexican compensation. Oh, look at that. After this one, we're going to do. Concentrate coordinated allied attacks, that ain't bad. The more the merrier decisions. Uh, no election yet, so I guess we'll go this way. Foundation of the CIA. Our existing agencies or foreign offices seem to not be enough to enable us to effectively coordinate our activities. The end has established a new government agency, also known as the CIA, the Central Intelligence Agency. Might as well. Let them attack us all repeatedly. They're going to die, die, die. Well, that's not bad. I like the output. Socialist. Um, that's pretty good too, honestly. That's pretty darn good. This is pretty good. I like the, the liberal one here. That's pretty good. Um, bing bong boom. I know we want to focus on carriers, but actually, let's take a look here. What do they got? Anything good? Yeah. It's alright. Suppose we can make it. It has no armor, which is, does scare me quite a bit, but. Stores wouldn't be bad either, but. 
I've heard. I've heard this. But at the time of this recording, getting some heavy cruiser might not be bad either. Do sub stuff? Yeah, let's do that. Well, we'll try. Why not? Let's duplicate you. Go mediums. Just one heavy battery. And replace this with uh, rapid fire guns, maybe? We could try it. Um, A2. Your capital ship, so change you to this. We could try, why not? Outdated tech? Oh, these destroyers, that's fine. Whatever, no one cares. There you go. Columbus class. Cool. Doctrine. Yes, yes, yes. Um, that's cool to attack that area, but... Uh, actually, attacking here would be probably more beneficial. All that river stuff. Mm, not bueno. Yeah, Foundation CIA. Election's not here yet. Naval power, the more the merrier. Although initially the League of Nations do not turn out to be the success we hope for, in the face of the crisis, the whirlwinds of war and imperial threats, it should be possible to expand with additional members. Yeah, pretty much, man, pretty much. I'll go right there. Basic Tower's nice. I'll go to Toledo. Leave one guy behind, but... Not bad. If you can go right there and circle them, that'd be quite mighty fine, but I do say so myself. You might not be able to, though. What is on this British division? A lot of artillery, huh? Get them Italians out of there. Them Italian boys. God dang it, we won't be able to win, huh? Uh, it's alright, not great. And eh, get more daily command power increase, why not? Not going. Of course it. More the merrier. And there you go. Not bad. Exactly what we want to see. Follow it up with... Manifesto of Destiny? Well, we gotta wait for that one. For the 36 elections. Holy crap. Time strength in the U.S. Army. The U.S. Army represents a high level of professionals in preparation for modern warfare. Unfortunately, its equipment, which is, has it at its disposal, may soon be considered archaic and we cannot allow that. Of course not. Why would we? Now, it's making that, 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 that. Let's get another cruiser hole. Another heavy cruiser, I guess. Make another one of them to see. Oh, we did really well there. Retired war heal ain't too bad. Active diplomat. I guess some more volunteers, I suppose. That's why we're going to 50%. Eh, I kind of want to wait. I'll see what happens. Ruthless capitalist? That sounds like fun. It's not bad either. Integralist? I'm not really sure. We'll have to wait and see what happens. I don't want to make any rash decisions right now. You know, not too many, at least. There you go. There you go. More the merrier. I do enjoy how fast this mod moves. It's, it's quite speedy. It's very nice. Um, 32. Logistics probably. We're going to get some thick boys. Oh, crap. How slow do you move, man? Force him to attack. Republican Party nomination due to the upcoming presidential elections. The Republican Party and Democrat Party elections have been held in recent months. The U.S. Uh, the prior Republicans' primary election oh, is over today, and they've decided to support the current U.S. President Herbert Hoover for his run for re-election. But will he be able to win? That's the real question. Who's a Democrat then? As long as you don't die, we'll be okay. And they're not quite cut off yet. But now they are. God dang it.
There you go. If you're going fast enough, you won't have to worry about it. Democratic Party nomination. Due to the upcoming presidential elections, the Republican Democratic Party primary elections have been held in recent months. Today, the primary election is over among Democrats who decide to support the candidacy of FDR, or Franklin Delano Roosevelt, and the outgoing governor of New York, who based his campaign on the idea of the New Deal, a great economic and social program that will lead the U.S. out of economic crisis. Time to start the race. Oh, boy. The election, huh? I guess it's time to see who, who's going to win. Who's going who's to win? Good old boys or the good old boys? So what's a good question to ask? Oh, 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 crap. The more the merrier. What's up, Dominican Republic? Hello, Central America. Everything good, Colombia? Colombia's in a difficult situation, both external and internal, and our support would simply make their lives easier. Well, let's see what happens with that. Colombia agrees. Colombia is expected to agree to our offer, and we'll be able to build a better world together. The electoral votes for FDR versus Hoover Hoover. Total number is 531. Whoever reaches the majority wins the elections. Uh, all right. I can't do that one yet, so we got to be forced down this way. Uh, motorized. Well, we must have unlocked everything else here first. It's time to modernize the U.S. Navy. Our Navy is a part of a country, the object of interest and concern for our rivals. We must make sure that stays that way. International debt strategy. In view of the election storm that is currently taking place in a country, the issue of debts of other countries to the U.S. has become an important part of the election campaign because, in the current situation, debt repayments have been suspended, which directly led to the crisis in our country and the bankruptcy of the stock exchange, which certainly stopped receiving money. The multitudes of embattled voters seem to support the enforcement of debt repayments to our country, but such a move could significantly weaken our position in the international arena. So, really, for the election of 32, we have either Hoover or Roosevelt. He's not very popular, but at the time of recording, I relatively recently already did a Roosevelt's New Deal. So, I'm kind of thinking we'll go with Hoover. So, America first will increase Hoover's popularity. Our international debt policy will weaken our relations with other countries, or we cannot destroy our foreign policy. America first. So, 250 versus 281. So FDR is still pretty darn popular, but. Eh, we'll see what happens by the end of this. Um, if you guys go in here, that'd be great. Just go into there and do that or something. Or go here first. Just go there first. Cool. And go right there. There you go. Spanish here helps out. As we do this, we're going to take a sweet bit, sweet bit, a wee bit more land. Ah, beautiful. Yeah, not bad. We got a lot of army XP now. It doesn't mean we've got a lot of equipment here, which sucks, but whatever. Anti dramatic moves in Poland. I gotta play as Poland too sometime, but. That's right, depth charge throwers, very nice. Um, Naval Doctor, what is this? Great ambitions. Hurts our daily political power, but we're getting more than two. So let's do additional funds to the Navy Academy, because we could probably really use this. For the development of our fleet, it is necessary to carry out a propaganda campaign combined with an increase in funds for our Navy, so that it can operate effectively in the world, seas, and oceans. Might as well, my friends, might as well. Uh, Oscar Picard's that's a new altitude record. We'll do a good job for you, son of a gun. Um, anything here for, like, stuff? Oh, time to expand the U.S. Air Force. The U.S. Air Force is our pride. It's imperative that we make every effort to modernize it further. Very nice. Um, what are we going to do over here? If we can, I'd like to come over here and just start pushing this way, maybe. God, we got to get out of this economic de depression. Uh, anything else we do? Oh, yeah. My favorite giant in the South. Brazil's the greatest power in South America, and alliance between our countries could surely scare away any, uh, aggressors. The cowards of Brazil. They decide to climb a proposal. God dang it, Brazil. Disappointing. Maybe we should try to increase the relations first with them and then do that stuff. That'd probably be a smarter idea. So let's go do... Ooh. So hello, Central America. Federation of Central America. Oh, you're over here. Let's increase the relations with you first. And then we'll do that one. Cool. We have homelessness. In the face of the agriculture crisis, which joined forces, one might say, with the economic crisis, many of our citizens lost their livelihoods and thus ended up homeless. This homelessness crisis seems to be affecting a large part of the population and is greatly weakening the authority of our government, and not to mention the new wave of crimes we're experiencing because of it. This problem resolves all quickly. Is there a duty to help the poorest? Small. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Oh my gosh, 300 political power. Holy crap. Remember, we're focusing on Central America next. Nice. All right, go in. See what y'all can do. Mobile defense is very nice. Let's go grab some of that too. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's looking pretty good over here too. Nice. Um, go over there. Spread. Out. Have our division spread out a whole bunch. Head on in if you can. You should tighten up just a wee bit. And 
Anything else here for, like, improvements in general? No. Oh, 50 flipping rubber. Wow. When it comes to raw materials, we definitely lack. It's definitely rubber. As a result, recently there's been a cooperation between the defense and agriculture departments to create a rubber plantation in Kentucky, which now expects formal support from our side. Well, that's really cool, actually. Rio Paulo Teak, man. Rio, Rio, Rio Paulo Teak. Can y'all go, like, right here, maybe? That'd be cool. Nice. As they do be slamming us pretty hard over here. Uh -uh. Alright, so yeah, they, they added extra guys in there. We can't do that just yet, at least. Um, 32 is not bad. Let's see. Better torpedoes. We're looking pretty good right there, I'll be honest. Air Doctrine. I love Cass. I'm, just, I'm a big old Cass guy. Um, anywhere else? Because we're, we're, we're winning this war pretty darn well, I'm not going to lie. Um, over here. Something like that. Yeah, River Plantations, time to test new toys. I love toys. And I'm too old to be playing with toys. Well, child's toys. But anyways, let's not go too far and weird with that. Um, yeah. Uh, hello? Oh, I didn't want that that little. There you Okay. There you go. Now we cut them off, which is awesome. Beautiful. Beautiful as can be. Alright, so let's do our other favorite in the giant in the down beyond the sea. The mouse that roared. Wait. Federation of Central America. Oh. No, we can't do them. Faction leader of peace, not a faction with the US or United Mexican States. Huh. Well, crap. Alright, well, let's do Argentina next. If we can't get Brazil, get Argentina. A nice mustache, man. Um, yeah, that sucks, bro. Uh, doing all five, oh god. Air spectacle, anything over there, anything over there, there, there. That stuff is not bad, actually. That's pretty good. Mobile war extra. Oh, yes, please. Shipbuild and improved design, sub frenzy. Uh, better support com company equipment. Support companies uh, are the backbone of our army. They must, they must be the highest possible level. The presidential election of 1932 is undoubtedly full of emotion and great hopes. Uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt managed to rally with his charisma and his willingness to take decisive action by supporters across the country. President Hoover, however, however did not remain passive and worked hard to lay the foundations for the U.S. recover from the crisis it is in. Americans now go into the battle box and decide whether they prefer to support Hoover's efforts or Roosevelt's New Deal. Emotions grow with every second. Oh, crap. 264, 267. That is... That is tight. Holy crap. Hoover triumphs. Although the race of the presidency was tough and full of sacrifices, President Hoover managed to triumph in the next four years of his rule are just beginning. Already in many cities there have been groups of the president's support celebrating his victory, although undoubtedly the greatest emotions by his victory roused among the industrial magnates of the North, frightened by the radical demands of the Roosevelt's New Deal, and among the ringing Southern conservatives worried about the socially liberal approach of the Democratic candidates. Hail the chief. All hail. A su truly surprising re-election. Smoke up, Hoover. Another full use of Hoover. While many expressed doubts about Hoover's chances of re-election, he managed to convince enough voters to re-elect president of the, to be re-elect president of the U.S. Now it begins a period of four years of hard work during which Hoover will try to prove that giving him a second chance to repair the U.S. from another crisis was, of course, the right decision. Oh wow, we're actually doing really better, a lot better here than we did with Mexico. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, this hurricane in the history of the Caribbean. Oh, this sucks, bro. It sucks. Sucks to be you. Huh? Sucks to be you, man. So how do we fix the economy? He got re-elected, but how do we fix the economy? Vacation training, limited immigration. I like this one. Central bank reform. A central bank that must focus on preventing infl internal inflation and stockpiling funds that a government could spend on the most needed issues. Their responsible credit policy pursued by an autonomous central bank must be a thing of the past. Better ship holes. Very good. Very, very, very good. Um, attack bombers. We might as well try to get some of those, I guess. Just let you go. Just do whatever. Formation flying. As we get more political power, better consumer goods, help with the economy maybe a little bit. Or from the boy, or BOI. The wave of crimes that spread over the U.S. seems to go beyond the powers of the police. It's necessary for the BOI, the Bureau of Investigation, to take control or take more confidence in funding than before. 
thus being informed in the FBI, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, and as such taking into hands fixing the situation. Oh yeah, oh this is pretty good to get you out. That'd be good. Yeah. End of the mafia, at least for now. Y'all doing okay here? Oh yes, you are. Alexander Patrick doing a fantastic job. Become an organizer? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. -y. Beat up some Spanish boys. We love the boys, though. Uh, sealing the border wall of Mexico. That seems like a good idea. Build the wall. Focus underscore USA underscore sealing underscore uh, the border underscore the Mexico underscore the script. Okay, Argent. Okay, so I think this is random. Bruh. Can we get flipping Ecuador done? And we have good relations with them, right? We should, yeah, they do. And we want this is Spain. That's nice. Form the boys. Got some boy reformers. Uh, actually, it's 33 already. You can grab some of this at one as well. Build the wall. Don't need more guns. How do we do that? Limiting immigration. And be with the difficult situation which the U.S. finds itself in, we cannot allow new waves of immigrants to continue to arrive at our borders and lead to an increase in the already record high unemployment, of course. We can make exceptions for the outstanding individuals because there are, of course, never too many of them. And David, they, did Francis look like somebody that I've never seen before? I think so. Oh, y'all done training? Huh. Fat chance. Train until we're out of fuel. Daily gain, 55,000. That's not enough. That is straight up not enough. Only nearly a thousand fuel, that's all. Ecuador? Okay, here we get Ecuador. Wow. Great. <laughs> we built the flipping wall. Or built something. The Bolo? B18 Bolo. Uh, limited. They're going to limit immigration. Yeah. Keep some of them out. New vocational training program, of course. The market will sooner or later be regulated and rebuilt its success or resources. It's better that our citizens gain adequate skills by then, which will enable them to re enter the labor market in more comfortable conditions. We got some bonuses there, which I love me some bonuses. Our Lady Bano, very cool, very, very, very cool. More shipperinos, huh? Oh, got that heavy cruiser, nice. Yeah, there's not a lot of heavy there. We need some oh, carriers, too, some naval bomber carriers. A new wave of investments, though. As predicted, the market is stabilizing again. It's imperative that our government now allows unrestricted economic activity so that the coming wave of investments grows and proves sufficient to reverse the unfortunate course of the panic of 1931. Which is still pretty god awful, but hey, it's better than nothing. Uruguay? Uruguay. Bolivia? Paraguay? Where's Peru? There it is. And Peru said no. Nah. Well, God flipping dang it. Y'all bunch of worthless sack of dough do. Have we got the naval XP? Miles used it up while well, he got it, I guess. Um, yeah. God dang it. And there we go. One more tax cut? Not bad. But one business at a time. Cool. Now that our economy is gaining momentum. It's necessary to temporarily refrain from levying ta high taxes on our entrepreneurs so that our money in their hands can be used by them to further improve the situation. Not a bad idea. Of course, Uruguay. Of course, Uruguay want to do that. So, at least for League of the Nations, we got Colombia. We got Peru. Or Ecuador, I should say. Not Peru. Um, we have Panama, of course, our puppet. And we got flipping Uruguay. Our other favorite warmonger. Bolivia says, yeah. Why do we get only the most powerful ones? If you wonder about that one, please go ahead. Our liberalizing stuff is doing pretty darn well. Maybe the worst part. Mm, okay. Loch Ness Monster? One more tax cut. Why not? It's fine, go illusion. It's fine. Eh, now screw it. Never mind. Omar Bradley, thank you very much. Cutting red tape. The bureaucracy that arose in a country in the face of prohibition of various criminals, agricultural economic crises, really took on terrible dimensions and began to resemble French administrative heck. Y'all cancel another. Oh my goodness. You better not go to war with Mexico. I'll beat the living crap out of you. And you guarantee that I'm going to make sure we win that war. 
So the militarists? And Chile, of course, says yes. This is out of time. If you're wondering about that, please go right ahead. I always play these capitalist nations, man. Not a bad... It's not bad. I love the capitalist nations, but still. Cutting that red there tape. And, oh, look at this. Land of endless possibilities. Ooh, we get the morals of man, save liberalism. More political power, stability, and trade deal factor. While Herbert Hoover may not be the most popular president in U.S. history, large numbers of citizens seem to be grateful to him for reforms and action he has carried out. And although the economic crisis is still having a negative impact, what the heck? The French joined them. Wow. Uh, as, as the economic crisis is still having a negative impact, citizens seem to be much more positive than before in the face of the presence of effective actions. I have yet, in this mod, yet to see France join the Soyuz. So, what's a big old rock gonna. Hello, Adolf. The hero of our time. You got sausages? Are they rolling? Who gonna build them roads? Not me. Break up mafia syndicates. Mafia syndicates appeared in essentially every major city or urban center of the country, with particular emphasis on the great cities of the North, which experienced a real wave of crimes against the powerlessness of local authorities. It's imperative that criminals get what they deserve as quickly as possible, regardless of the cost. There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh, we're gonna need a lot of planes where we're headed, a lot of this too, and a lot of naval bombers as well. Great maneuvers of Grand Art. Oh my goodness. Oh, but then Italy did join too. Like, that's so weird. Italy joined them first. And then... Maybe a two-front war. It's like World War One almost. Well, maybe not. It's the US there, but still. Commonwealth of Nations. Purge of the public administration. Our public administration has come to prohibition to a large extent due to the corrupt influences of the mafia and other criminal syndicates. If we want to actually get rid of the sinister influences of those years, it's necessary to get rid of the people who unfairly benefited from the misfortune of others at that time. What else have we can do here? Oh, beautiful. More if you're finding we don't really need that, but whatever. We'll grab it anyways, because we can. Uh, grab one of these two. Rush. Oh. Oh, you're actually the real Russian Empire. Oh, yeah. St. Arm. There you go. Liberalization. Very cool. Beyond the seas. Cyan. They agree. That is weird. So we got the League of Nations up here, and you guys. I don't want to go to the war with the Reichsbank. If anything, we're probably going to go to war with the UK. So, the Commonwealth of Nations. So, we'll probably try to take these guys out, take out Canada. Um, if we can, I'm betting Ireland's going to be a huge problem. Hopefully, we get the Spanish Republic on our side. We'll see what happens. The war against crime, though. Broken criminal networks, a mass of officials fired for corruption, and strengthened border guard on a border where their southern neighbor seems to be paying off. It's now imperative to ensure that a restored internal order remains for us for as long as possible, preferably, of course, eternally. Mouse that roared, huh? Well, the county's looking a lot better now. Best out of town. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, core territory. To Siberia with love. Yeah, this one's better. That one's better to do. Economy minister. Yeah, that's not bad. Well, we are Republicans. We'll also go to this one, I guess, for now. Excavation 2. Um, better. Yeah, better tanks would be good. Just better overall, man. Because we can. Nice. Followed up with election 36. Now, when the period of four years divide in the crisis and its aftermath seems to be coming to an end, another presidential election is coming. Black clouds are coming. Oh, look at that. Already on the horizon, America's interest on the international stage appears to be under threat. Soon, voters uh, will decide who's under leadership. They'll go through this hard time of hard struggle. Trial and struggle, of course. But, uh,. Better support companies, yeah. We'll do better support companies next. We just go to war them now. Then again, we have to go to war the French as well. Free market? Very nice. Venezuela joins the Rocks Pack. Well, that sucks, bro. Alright. Emphasis on the Army's motorization. Motorization of our Army is... Oh, crap, Argentina. Has progressed and insufficiently fast. We're going to soon be left behind by our rivals. And that's a big oh no 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 no. No success of ideas, very cool. Women in aviation, go die like all the men. Pro oh. <sighs> Wow. Well we don't go to where the right stuff. This is really weird the way everything's divided up now. M3 Lee, thank you. Romania, of course, joins. I'm not too surprised about that. Improve equipment conversion. Um go and grab that too, because you can. Uh, 
refinery complexes in Alaska. That's not bad. In Alaska, there are already private enterprises involved in the extraction and processing of crude oil, the deposits of which are located there. Our armed forces will benefit greatly from an additional fuel source. Oh, absolutely. I bet. Keep building up a lot of civvies. Um, okay, let me build some mills. I always like building this part of the Midwest. I don't know why. It's, maybe it's because I'm from that region, but like... The Dutch? Yeah, it's not bad for them. It's alright. Jerry Minister. Consumer goods are always good to get. But then again, consumer goods eventually leaves us. How much political power? 1.3 now is not bad. I don't mind getting another operative slot, honestly. Get more encryption. That's pretty good. Nepal border thing in my bob. Political power gain. Even more political power gain. Well, that's pretty good. Get more, way more output. Yeah, let's get more, way more output. And then armored vehicle testing. Although the tanks were reluctant to accept into the U.S. Army, thanks to the activities of several prominent officials or officers, they gained appropriate attention. Today, we can start implementing their proposed solutions. Nineteen thirty-four, huh? Oil processing. Don't really, not sure that we really need that one though. Naval stuff. We can make super heavies, but that's not really worth it. Uh, air. yeah, might as well do some air stuff. Why not? We can buy more stuff. Do we need to buy anything? Artillery, of course, and support equipment. So let's buy that. Artillery. Reactionism is growing in strength. Thanks to the successful movements of one of our ministers, we managed to improve the situation of our country. Unfortunately, this minister attributed some of the merits to the idea of reactionism, thereby increasing the public interest in it. Well. Oh well. Enhancement of the artillery corps. Our artillery corps always needs to be better and stronger guns and cannons, right? Right. 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 Because I want to test new toys. I want to get down here quickly. Oh, this would be good to get stuff, too. Oh, it's really good, too. Holy crap. As much as I want to do the Navy stuff, I mean, there's not really much here except getting more naval dockyards and stuff, which is not bad. It's good stuff. And over here, there's not really much except, for, like, bonuses to air doctrine and aircraft. It's all right. The best infantry weapons only. Our designers have done wonders in recent years, and we, the use of their weapons is a must. Yeah, absolutely. It's fine for now. Anyone at war? No, Army of the Rising Sun. All right, well, whatever, guys. Good luck. We have infantry equipment, 1934. Cool. Yugoslavia is flexing his muscle. I guess you buy Yugoslavia sometime, too. That sounds like a lot of, a lot of fun. Yeah, just keep making some more civvies and millies. And then we're going to make some more uh, dockyards, too. Which we do need, don't get me wrong. We need dockyards, but still. Um, what else we want to do here? Time to test new toys. Since modernization of the equipment of our armed forces is progressing successfully, it's high time to conduct a general test of the weapons we have. And this one has to be after election 36, or more than 64%. Why exactly 64% world tension? Well, that seems a bit arbitrary to me, but whatever. Actually, screw it. You're out. Put you back in. Don't bother me with this stuff ever again. Well, bother me with it, but not right now. Um, we're not going to have a big old army, but it'll be a strong army. Make them nice and thick. They ain't thick. We don't want them. Just enough to make them 40s. Nice. Conservatism? Well, mm, we are libs. Now nah, we good. Visible hand of three market, very good, very, 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 very good. You never know what they're going to be doing up there. Time to sell a few new toys, huh? Uh, the country of great gunsmiths. Oh, yes, more research speed and stuff like that, yeah. Names such as Samuel, Colin, Moses, Browning are known to people all over the world because the weapons designed by them gain fame worldwide. We want to ensure that our gun designers are never felt. Uh, and are never ignored by Armaments Commission. Never, ever, ever. Fuel will be nice, but we can wait on that. Um, anything else? Right oh, yes, please. Plenty of naval stuff to do. Here, anyways, duplicate you guys if you can. If you can, thank you very much. 
Early fighters. Form an air show. Very cool. Of course, Germany's going to violate Belgian neutrality. They're like sticking their little nose down where they don't belong. Oh, yours, von Stevens. Are you? Do you have a unique focus G2? Holy crap. I don't know if I'm actually going to play as Belgium, but, uh, maybe not. Maybe it's not. No, it's not. Okay, I was like, wow. That's some attention to detail, man. Rangers lead the way. It's not bad. Been out of time. Very cool. Very, very cool. Oh, look at this. Holy crap. Utility self-propelling guns. Not bad. New face of cavalry. And Sublime State. Sublime State. Whoa. This is the Department of Defense expansion. Our Department of Defense deserves new funding to keep our operations running smoothly in these uncertain times and gives us a tactical advantage we need on the battlefields. Wait, hold on. Can we find the... Oh, oh, I want to send volunteers, but it's a little late. Okay. Well. They're gone. <laughs> wow. That was fast. Oh, well, they schleefing pretty hard there, I guess. Boy, when they schleef, they schleef hard. Baby, can you schleef me? Can you schleef me a little harder? Depends on the day. Uh, special forces, maybe, but we can do this stuff as well. More heart attack, we like it hard. Sausages, we do be rolling sausages here. Nice. As you can tell, I'm really focused on this side. The new face of cavalry. Cavalry is becoming a relic today in the traditional form. We must ensure that the automotive industry and the mechanization of war reaches a new level. In the next episode, we're going to be really hitting hard a lot of other nations just to just to win. Just to beat the crap out of them. Visible hand of the free market? Nice. Tennessee's well. Deep building. Only 264 factorinos. So who's going to start World War II? Nuclear War Council. Oh boy. Battleships are still needed. You still have Luxembourg around there, but whatever. Encourage an Imperial Elite. Please join us. You know what? Improve relations. We got plenty of PP. Improve relations for now. Rangers lead the way. The maneuvers and experiences of combat in tropical areas have shown the shortage of formations capable of conducting effective combat in tropical and sub-Saharan conditions. The creation of a ranger formation should correct this deficiency. Absolutely. It's 34 still. Uh, plane stuff? Yeah, might as well. That's looking pretty good, honestly. Looking pretty darn good. Any more ships? Looking pretty okay. These ships are not looking terrible. They're not great, but... Actually, it's not looking bad to know either. With maxed out these guys. And a battleship. Not a great battleship, but it's not bad. Morato Typhoon. Oh, that sucks, bro. Prince is out of town. Sun never sets. Shall set, indeed. I think we're going to go to war with them. I'm probably going to go to war with Japan first. And really focus on them, probably. But, of course, no guarantees. Tornado in Osaka and Kyoto. Bad news never comes alone, huh? But we've got to keep going on with the utility of self-propelled guns, which I probably want to use these quite a bit. Self-propelled guns are indeed very useful combat machines that can perform specialized tasks at relatively low production costs. Nice. Keep making a lot of stuff. We need a... Oh, look at these bad boys. Mechanized 22 combat width. Oh, they're mechanized very heavily. Ooh, I like that. Oh, but we can't edit them. Ah. Ah, why are you paying me so much? You're just here to laugh at me. Ah. Bro, that sucks. That really sucks. Um, cool. Rangers lead the way. We got so much PP. So much. Oh, PP. Not PP, but like naval XP. Look at that. Jesus. War game season? Not bad. Research speed would be pretty good, too. Uh, but war game season first. Our generals really never, really love war games, and there's nothing to surprise them. Oh, look at them Rangers. Look at that. Very nice. 25 combat with, which is kind of awkward. Greece joined the combat with the nations. That sucks. We got some anti tank. That's really weird. They're really good at mountain or rivers, jungles, and deserts, huh? Process of liberalization. All right. Honestly, with a special forces guy, you must just... That's perfect. Concentrated firepower plans, mechanized offenses, might as well. 
Norway joins the Commonwealth of Nations. Actually, since we're here, go ahead and put some stuff over on Hawaii. That'd be good as well. Um, there, that naval base maxed out. Since we're here already, you might as well start doing some of the stuff. Um, emphasis on Special Forces, War Game Season, yes please. Followed up with, uh, Emphasis on Special Forces. Special Forces is a concept for our town that's gained enormous popularity. It's fair that we adapt the, our army to the wide use of them. Might as well, right? Might as well. Ship stuff, where are we at? 1934, go ahead and grab this thing, because you can. It's very quick to make and do. And research, 34, uh, this is all 33 stuff. Gives more defense and breakthrough, that'd be really nice, really, really nice. Uh, there you go. Buy more stuff because we can. Because actually, we need. We need, do we need any more guns already? Wow, holy! No, no, we're good, 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 good. we're good on guns. Uh, Japanese want a greater zone of control. Of course they do. Or buy. You don't go about because not that much. We need way more tungsten. We need more factories. Just period. Which we're trying to do, but things take time. Happy thirty-five, everybody. Hope you're having a great, 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 great year. Emphasis on special forces. I mean, the, the build-up in this mod is not bad. I just wish there was something happening a little more quickly, but maybe not. Emphasis on maneuverability. The mobility of our army seems to be the basis if we want to maintain a real advantage over opponents on modern battlefields. And that's not bad. Breakthrough of 35% from mechanized. Wow. Cavalry attack and defense goes up too. Jesus Christ, that's nice. Anything else over here for 36? 35, 36, no. Um, ship stuff? Next year is 36 as well. 36. Yeah, I might as well get that a little bit early. That's fine. Airland battles. Now, these are mutually exclusive. Uh, we're going to use a lot of our infantry. Yeah, that's probably the way to go, realistically speaking. Yeah. Port observers are probably real way bueno. Keep training, boys. You don't need it. Douglas MacArthur, you're not aggressive enough. Never aggressive enough. Central... Bro, we wanted you to join us and you joined them, you pieces of garbage. So sad. So sad. That's just a maneuverability. Yes. Absolutely. And modern war experts? Look at that. Release of the concert band. The period of modernization of the equipment and doctrines of our armies coming to an end. And the effects of our actions seem to create an unexceptionally, uh, oh, look at this, uh, positive view. Swiss Confederation wants to join us? Sure. All right, I'll soon regret opposing us. That's really not bad. More breakthrough and stuff like that. So we'll grab that one. We'll see what happens. And there's nothing else we can do right now except focus on our navy, probably, which we're honestly probably going to focus on a whole bunch just because we need to. So after that one, we'll probably go ahead and do town for maneuvers in the Atlantic. If we want to show what we can do the maneuvers, uh, <clears throat> In the Atlantic will certainly bring us many valuable experiences and time for maneuvers in the Pacific. If we want to show what we can do with the maneuvers in the Pacific, Lee will certainly buy us many valuable experiences. But I think that's going to end us here for today. Even though we didn't really get into too much war, we still did a little bit of conflict fighting, which wasn't too bad. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we will end up going to war probably with the Commonwealth of Nations and or the Reichs Pact. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.